Spring is the season that presents the usual keywords, refresh, new, and invigorating. So why not apply the same words to your home decorating and tablescapes? Look around your home to see what you have and the spaces within your home and see how you can look at it with a new perspective. I really love this tablescape. What's great about it is that it's neutral in coloration, but there's so much texture and patterning to it. What helps anchor this and makes it pleasing to the eye is keeping it within the black and white color scheme, but using that deep brown in just little pops here and there. This is a great table to do when you have collections from your travels, things that you have stored away that you don't use all the time, but you really want to showcase. What really adds to this table with texture and patterning is using stems. This is a dried protea pod, a dried poppy pod, ruckus, and also a beautiful bleached umbrella fern. What I like about mixing and matching these types of stems is you get the hardscape and the structure of these two stems, but you add a little bit of softness with the umbrella fern and the ruckus, and it's a great mix and matching element. I started out with this pot. I like the black and white coloration and that kind of tribal patterning, and then I built my table off of that. I added a darker jar, with a different patterning, but it's still within the same color palette. And to soften everything up and bring a more richer color to it, I added this neutral ombre pattern jar. Now, all of these jars have the same, almost exact structure to them. It's just a different patterning to it. So they're all still very complementary to each other. Another thing that I really like doing is bringing coasters to the table. Now coasters usually protect your table from water rings, but why not use it as a design element? Just gives the table a little bit more interest. Another great color I love to use in springtime is green. Bringing it in with a lot of plants, you can use it within a tablescape or in a design element inside or outside. The easiest way to incorporate green is by using plants and also moss. Now moss is a budget-friendly and refreshing idea to use, especially for a tablescape. You can use it as a runner or a tablecloth. Now what you can do to protect your table is by laying down a floral foil or you can use aluminum foil. And you can put it down underneath the moss to protect your table. And what I like to use is sheet moss, which comes in sheets even bigger than this, so it's really easy to just lay down and cover your foil. This is a great idea to use for a tablescape, but also you can use it on your mantle or a console within your home. But I really love using it outside. Now this table has a lot of different variety of green, lighter and darker, but also there's so much texture. This is lemon cypress. We have a medusa fern. We also have some maiden hair and some baby's tears. But what I really like to use is artificial stems. Now artificial plants can look just as good as real ones and have a lot of the same coloration and texture and no one is the wiser. What I also use to help break up the green is bringing in some sand, natural rocks, and even some wood. For some added texture and even some interest, I like to incorporate things like artichokes, you can even use asparagus, or even some carrots if you wanted to lend a little bit more to the Easter holiday, but this is something that is reusable. Not only can you make it look beautiful within plants, but you can also eat it later. To add some whimsy to the table and make a little bit of a game for my guests, I like to add some little surprise touches, such as a hedgehog or maybe even a squirrel. You can even use terrariums that incorporate a miniature garden, just something that is new and unexpected. If you wanted to give a little bit of a nod to the Easter holiday, you can always add a moss little green bunny. Spring really is the best time to refresh and rethink your home decorated and tablescape, so be adventurous. Please follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Rogers Gardens, where we bring beauty into your home and garden.